across our Roscoe family. Um, across our Roscoe staff has decided to give you guys a weekly coaches cue. And what we're going to go over is some mobility tips and tricks to get you ready for the weekly workouts or to help you recover from workouts we had last week. We'll also have a kind of skill development. So um, today we're going to talk about some lower back strength. We've had a lot of clients come to us with lower back problems, so we want to help you get that strong. And also we'll end with kind of going over what we're doing this week strength-wise. Um, a lot of us have overhead problems. So, you know, if we're doing push press, we tell you to fully extend through a lot of your here, and we'd like you here. And that, that, that stems from bad shoulder mobility. So a lot of us can get to here, and oh, that hurts. We should be easy, easily get to overhead. And the overhead position has a lot to do with your external rotation ability. A lot of us are internally rotating. We type all day, we text all day, and so our shoulders internally rotate, and we need to work on this external position. Um, so today we're going to give you a couple mobility tricks to do that. One is to um, take our skinny bands, so our nice little skinny ones, not our thick ones. Um, loop it up three times. Um, put it in here, in your elbows, just like so. And then grab a box ahead of time. I'm going to go with the high bar because I'm a little bit taller, um, but you can go with the low bar, it doesn't really matter. But get on your box, we're going to grab in not the pull-up position, but the chin up to externally rotate our shoulder. Get as wide as you can, so I'm going to grab here, Ugh. I'm going to grab out here. I'm going to slowly load my shoulders. I'm not relaxed, I'm activating my scaps, okay? So I'm going to hold this position, I'm going to slowly come off the box, and stick my head through, and this is just going to stretch your tricep, your shoulder, um, help you hold this externally rotating position given my grip. And I don't relax like this on it. I'm going to hold this hollow position. My abs are flexed. I'm not loose here. Flexing my abs, pointing my toes, and just tightening my shoulder. Feel my shoulders work. Hold this externally rotated position. As you get tired in workouts, you'll start to be pressing. You'll kind of get, do one of these, and your shoulders are going to get tired. So you just need to reinforce a good position, that external rotation of the shoulder. Um, so that can be done with the band. If this is weird to you, or we can use um, the slingshot, which is meant for benching. But same idea. In a, Put it right direct, put your elbow right in the middle of the slingshot. Same with the other hand. Get back on your box. Same idea. Chin up position. This is, as you can see, it's a little bit easier, has a little less tension on it. So if that's painful for you, you can go this route. Same idea. So I'm going to slowly load my shoulders, get off the box, poke my head through all the way, hold this universal position here, gymnastics hollow, and just work the shoulders, feel the stretch and hold that external position. No matter what your fitness level is, it's very important to have a strong lower back. Lower back and core, that is the base of where you are. Your strength comes from there and it goes out to your extremities. Uh, my personal favorite idea in the way of you know, strength and posterior chain, hips, hamstrings, low back is, is, is the, the GHD. Um, and actually doing GHD raises, um, not the flipped around ab version, which is fantastic too. Um, and extremely novel, but, but using the GHG for what it's for. So glute ham raise, the actual full raise is extending all the way down. Back completely straight, no curving, and coming back up. Preferably we want no hinging at the hips. Perfectly straight, just like a stick. Squeezing that butt, squeezing that low back, and then keep that position and pop right back up. You really have to push off the plate with the ball of your foot extremely hard. Your feet should be facing straight down. Um, and then everything should be nice, tight, aligned here. Um, that's really hard. It's a it's a pretty advanced deal. Um, if you get really good, you can start to weight yourself, <laughs> which gets absolutely amazing. But if that's if that's too hard for you, two other options um, is that we just have the eccentric. So what we can do is we can get you up here, squeeze the rear end, tummy tight, and just slowly, slowly, slowly come down until you reach horizontal, not sacrificing position. You reach horizontal. <laughs> You relax and just come back up. So we're not doing the concentric, we're just doing the eccentric going down, and that will absolutely burn you up. That's also hard. Also hard. <laughs> and slower the better. The, the kind of the, the bridge between the full glute ham raise and just the eccentric is if a partner were to help you out. So I'm going to lower myself down, and, and as I get that last 25%, Lauren's just going to help me get to the bottom. So you don't collapse. And then give me a little help going back, and then I'll, I'll hopefully finish it. Because it's, it's, it's easier, obviously, the closer you get to vertical. So, so I'm slow. trying to make them do work for a while. And once we're here, give them a little push. Rep ranges with this doesn't have to be extremely high. Um, you do sets of three or five eccentrics, um, maybe three sets of that, you're going you're gonna to burn yourself up. 
All right, so this week I just want to go over real quickly some of the strength we're going to be doing, and then we'll put a little bit of a focus on double unders. Um, the infamous double unders. Everyone hates them, uh, wants to get better at them, so we want to help you guys out with that. Throughout the week, we're going to front squat, bench press, do some weighted pull ups and kind of a gymnastics day, and then have some snatch balance. Um, so that's what we're looking at for the week. But specifically, in a lot of our workouts, we're going to have double unders. One day is going to be a double under technique, but there's also double unders in the workout. So when it comes to double unders, um, it's a lot about positioning. Obviously, the main purpose of double unders is to work your metabolic conditioning and work on your stamina, um, you know, similar to burpees or rowing. Uh, but it's hard to do that if you, don't, if you aren't able to hold the proper positioning to execute them. So shoulder position is huge for double unders. Your shoulders in an externally rotated position. If you become internally rotated, you're going to probably nick your feet and, and miss your double unders. So to, to have the strength in positioning in which to hold that proper positioning and to be in the uh, kind of gymnastics position of chest up, shoulders externally rotated, and ab and tummies, tummy tight. If you're rounded, that's no good. We don't want, want you looking like a dolphin as you're double undering. We just want you to be nice and straight. Get that tummy tight, butt tucked under you, locked out, not having floating arms. That's a big problem people have is as they get tired, they can't hold the shoulders, they internally rotate and the arms float out. But the biggest thing, if you're, if, hey, you know what, I have positioning, my stamina's not too bad, I've finally got a hang of the shoulder position, rhythm. It's, it's amazing how difficult it is for people to feel that rhythm and really get used to that. Um, so one thing we have you guys do is go on the um, lifting platforms. So on the wood, you can hear it, the tick, 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 tick. Um, so just getting used to that rhythm. Listen closely to the tick, 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 tick. Right, so the best way to start with double unders is to hit some singles. So um, Dana is going to have her tummy tight, have her shoulders externally rotated, arms at her side, and just hit a couple singles. Nice and tight. She's not flopping around, she's on her toes, she's not kicking her heels back donkey style. Once you've um, done this well, we can move on to attempting double unders. So she's gonna hit a double under and then go back to singles. Notice when she hits her double under, her jump doesn't change too much, she just jumps a little bit higher. A common mistake we'll find when doing this is arms floating out. So Dana's gonna demonstrate that for you. So that's a good one, arms get wide and then the rope's gonna become short and you're gonna miss your double under. So make sure to keep the arms nice and tight. Once you successfully find a rhythm, stay consistent with it. Keep it smooth and look straight ahead. The rest will work itself out. Thank you very much for watching our first ever Coach's Q video. We will have more in the future, but if you have any comments or questions, feel free to check out Kelly Surrett's Mobility Wad or Barbell Shrug Daily. They both have excellent content.